Okay. All right, we're at the Tonight We Feel Alive tour uh, with Four Year Strong, October 15th. Uh, if you guys can just go around, just tell your name and what you do in the band. I'm Joe, I play bass. I'm Josh, I play the keyboard. I'm Jake, I play drums. I'm Alan, I sing and play guitar. I'm Dan, and I sing and play guitar too. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right, I got a couple of just basic questions. There's a total of ten. Um, some I, or that we have to ask. I'm gonna try to make it as fun as possible. No fun. We hate fun. <laughs> Damn it, man. All right, who's your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, feel free to name them, and you can also name the shop they work at. Uh, should, we, should we go around the circle? Let's do sure. it. <laughs> uh, Carlos Lopez at Tattoo 101 in Lemonster, Massachusetts. Oh yeah. Luke Taylor at Hope Street Tattoo in Providence for that one. Uh, Brad Stevens, I think he's currently working at Daredevil in New York City. Uh, Zane Pendergast, who has been shop to shop. I'm not really sure where he's working now. That's fine. Um, I would say Shauncee Fury. Uh, I believe he's at Ocala Tattoo in Florida. Thanks. Now, when you guys first started out, you didn't have keyboards or uh, synthesizers. What made you decide to add that into the mix? Uh, four people is not fun. We <laughs> need one more person. That's Everybody true. knows five is a lucky number. Yeah. Yep. The magic number, realistically. Three. Three. Oh, magic wow. Number. He's calling it out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. How was it for you guys covering Blink 182's uh, Dumpweed? I was fun. just listening to that earlier, actually. It's <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Five years ago. We've never um, ever played together as a band. Nope. Ever. We did once. We did that we once? Did that one time. Oh my god. We played that outside college. Oh my god. Yeah. And we obviously fucking didn't. Yeah, we did terribly. Like That's right. weird. Sorry? Your blood came out? <laughs> um, it was cool though. We just kind of we we found out we could do it, and then had to have it done by the next day. So we just kind of did. Wow, it. sweet. Yeah. Damn. We left for the first tour. <coughs> yep. nice. um, how did it feel that Rise or Die Try and peaked at 31 on Billboard Heat Seekers chart in its debut week? It's not good. It was crazy. Very That's sweet. Definitely yeah. didn't think that would happen. Yeah, every, everything we've done as a band really has kind of surpassed what we thought it would. So. Everything's a surprise. We think we're gonna do fucking jack shit bad, and then all of a sudden, we do okay. We do okay. <laughs> and that's way better we than do, this. We do completely mediocre. That's yeah. Mediocre nice. is so much better than shitty and awful. Though. So much. <laughs> well, it's a little better. Moderately better than shitty. Nice. Aim low, and you will always be, well, not always, because sometimes you're a you'll real still failure. hit. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, it's so bad. <laughs> Uh, with the release of Explains It All, how was it collaborating with uh, Keith from uh, um, Every Time I Die, uh, Travis McCoy with uh, Gym Class Heroes, and JR and Buddy from Lesson Jake? It was, cool. it was cool. I mean, like, it was cool to have, like, you know, friends and, and people that we knew, like, do guest spots on the record and stuff, especially because we were on tour when a lot of them did their guest spots, so it was fun to, like, get the the songs that we hadn't heard their, their singing on it yet and be like, oh, this is cool, like, you know what I mean? Like, we knew they were doing the part. We just didn't know what it was going to sound like, and they did cool stuff. Travis did cool stuff, too. Just liked what he did. And uh, what's the inspiration behind your current album, Enemy of the World? Which, uh, which, which I have to add is a pretty kick-ass album. Thank you. Yeah, life. Life. Reality. Life. Yeah, Story, no, life, reality. Life, reality. Existing. Would you yeah, say just, it was life or reality? Just kind of reality. sums up the, the span of time in between Rise of Die Trying. Uh, you guys got any phase, uh, crazy fan stories or crazy tour stories? Nope. One time, we all decided we were going to stay up to like 4 o'clock. And then we did. <laughs> we and it was dream. insane. It was absolutely crazy. We painted each other's toenails. I was so tired we the whole time. split a whole pint of Hagen dazs yeah. yeah. I only made it till 3.30. It was so <laughs> naughty. Do you guys have any pre-show uh, rituals? Besides from walking around Denver, <laughs> try and eat uh, an entire burrito as fast as possible right before you play, and yeah. see who shits themselves first. Yeah, it'll probably be me. <laughs> uh, you guys got any side projects going on, or just this? Just this. I mean, I have like a funk thing going on in the side. Yeah, with uh, with uh, who's in that band? 
least uh, the future for four years strong any exciting news coming up new albums uh, this time we're shooting for mediocrity and seeing what so you know we yeah we're stepping it up yeah. we're actually aiming for like a five seeing yeah. if we can get maybe closer to an eight six or seven <laughs> yeah out of, um, out of 100 yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a lot of touring pretty much is all we got yeah nice. i appreciate you guys taking the time out i know yeah, you guys are busy you got stuff you gotta be doing um, definitely thank you um like I said, I just don't work for the magazine. I'm a fan. Awesome. All right. So, Thank yeah. you. Can't wait to see you guys on stage. Cool, man. Hell yeah. Good time. Excellent. Thanks.